ballots. The ruling states that absentee ballots in North Carolina and Pennsylvania, which are battle states, will be received and counted up to nine days after Election Day, which is 3rd November. For the Democrats, this is a victory. The ruling was reached by a 5-3 to three vote with the justices refusing the Republicans' request to disturb a decision by the State Board of Elections to lengthen the period from 3 to 9 days because of the coronavirus, pushing back the deadline to November 12th. Meanwhile, just five days to the elections, President Trump was in Arizona again, where he addressed a number of rallies on his seventh visit to the state in 2020. Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. They'll say the president was crying. I don't know. I don't know. Trump urged throngs of red cap supporters in the competitive battleground state to vote for him and vice presidential running mate Mike Pence. I say vote for Trump. We'll cut your taxes. We'll get you back. We'll bring it back. I say, what the hell do you have to lose? Vote for Trump. Those three big stars. As the COVID-19 pandemic worsens across the nation, Trump used his closing message to Arizonans to reassure them that the path he has set the nation on would lead to record prosperity. Biden and the Democrat socialists will delay the vaccine, prolong the pandemic, shutter your schools and shut down our country. Meanwhile, Senator Kamala Harris was also telling the Arizona audience that she would, in the spirit of the late John McCain, offer some straight talk. She attacked President Trump for his response to COVID-19, calling it the greatest failure of any presidential administration ever witnessed as a country. He was told it is five times more deadly than the flu. He was told it would hurt people of every age. He was told it was airborne. They know when we vote, things change. And as President Trump was busy in the campaign grounds, Democratic Party presidential candidate Joe Biden was also casting his vote in his hometown in Wilmington, Delaware. Now, this has also shown a record number of over 74 million people that have cast their early votes. While compared to 2016, this has been an overwhelming number. Already over 49 million people have cast their votes through mail-in ballots, while over 29 million people have shown in-person voting. Maurice Chol, NTV, in Los Angeles, California.